All right, ladies and gentlemen, come gather round, come gather round, come gather around. You know what the difference is between this wheel and me? One of them is unbalanced. Here's how you fix that. Let's go! You find a cone that matches the center of your wheel. Whatever fits the best. That's the one I'm going to use. Put the cone on the end of the shaft. Put the wheel on. And then use this guy. You can squeeze this to uh, magically unlock it. I don't know if you can see that. It unlocks. So you can slide it all the way up. And then tighten it nice and tight like a tiger. I like to give it a spin because you cannot balance a bent wheel and it's nice to know. To navigate this machine with this thumb wheel which makes you move all around, we're going to go to here. So I just have to hit the center which takes me to the balancing thing. I'm going to go here using the thumb wheel to the left to pick the weights. I tend to use clip-on weights on steel wheels, stick-on weights on alloy wheels, and we got a lot of combinations in there. Then go to this one so we can tell the machine how big the wheel is and where the wheel is. So thumb wheel over there, center button. Pull this shaft out until this sits where the weight's going to go and tell you how big the wheel is. You heard the beep. That tells me it's a 14 inch. It's 71 millimeters away from the machine. I need to make sure this is correct. For that, we're going to use this device, which looks medieval. Stick it against the rim on where the weights actually go. And this tells me it is a six inch rim. Because that guy's pointing at six inches. Use the negotiation thing over here to say width, and then just go up to six. And then we're good. We can exit. Just close the lid. It'll spin the wheel. Do some calculations and tell me how many weights to put on and where to put them. Quarter ounce. You would always ask me to put on quarter ounce. Well, these are Michelin, so they're going to be good, aren't they? Well, I have some quarter ounces. So I rotate this around till the blue square goes green. This foot pedal locks the wheel so it doesn't rotate. And then I aim for exactly straight up and that's where the weight's going to go. Try not to hit your fingers or lose the weight. There. I'm going to do the other side, which needs a quarter right there. Lock it straight up on this side. Sometimes you need to squeeze these weights just a bit more because they're used. And then if I'm feeling adventurous, I spin it again and see if it works. Hopefully I get zeros. Oh, curses. So then I want to know where does that quarter have to be? in the exact same place. Okay, so I'm going to take the quarter off and put a half. Beautiful! Then I put my foot on the foot pedal to lock it. Then I can undo this. Once you crack it loose, hold on to the wheel. We don't want to drop it on the shaft. I can pull that red lever, pull that off, wheel comes off, move on to the next one. Because it's the same size wheel, I don't have to change no settings. Sometimes when you spin it again, it'll ask for more weight to the left or right of the weight that you put on there. In that case, I usually just move the existing weight closer and see if it was just a rounding error. Important to note. Aluminum wheels, flat back end, big clip. Steel wheels, curved back end, small clip. Steel, aluminum. One of the first wheel balancers I ever used was not digital but analog and you could kind of, you could trim weights to get more precise balance and make it uh, uh, really, really, really accurately balanced. 
uh, on my student teaching practicum, we had a wheel balancer that used a crazy shaft, spark plugs, and flashing lights to determine where it went, and there were no safety features whatsoever. Always wear a face shield if you don't have a safety feature on the tire, because when those weights come off, you catch them with your face. Always good. Woo! Woo! There you go. Balancing tires. Thanks for watching. Take care.